Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the background image of your Powtoon to be one that you've downloaded from the web so that you're not limited to the choices that they provide for you by default within the program. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is open up a blank, uh, temp, uh, blank Powtoon rather than opening up a template. And we're going to scroll down the right navigation until we see the section on backgrounds. And you can extend it so that you can see all the different options that are there by default. So you do have some that um, is that are provided by Powtoon. But if you select the very first one, that kind of blue crossbarred box, it's going to allow you to add an image as background. Now before we can actually upload, I kind of skipped a step here, we need to download an image for the background that we would like. So in order to do that, you can go ahead and click um, on another tab and perform a Google search. I like to do this in Google Images. And you can simply type in there PowerPoint backgrounds. And you're going to see a number of backgrounds pop up. Now, these are not open source necessarily, so you do need to honor and give credit to the artist that created these by citing each of these images. Um, but let's say that um, this one Oops. But this is one that I really like. So if I view it and I say, yes, that's exactly what I want for the background of my Powtoon, then I can go ahead and right click on it and I can save the image as. And what I have on my desktop is a folder that I titled Desktop Images. And inside Desktop Images, I have a PowerPoint folder. And here's where I save the different backgrounds that I like to use for my presentation. So I've now downloaded that background into that folder. So I'm going to go back to Powtoon and select Add Image as Background. I'm going to click on Upload and I need to now go find it. So it goes back to the folder it was just in. So I'll select that and open it. And now it gets added to my library. So I would click on it. Once I like it, I would select Insert the Image. And assuming I like it, which I do, I'll go ahead and keep that. Now, if I wanted to do the same thing and add that background to other slides, I would simply select the slide, click on Add Image as Background, and it's already saved within my library, so I can go ahead and insert that same image to get the same effect on all the slides. And it's just that simple. Don't forget to honor your source by um, copying the image URL and recording somewhere in your presentation hopefully on the last slide, but let's just put it here for now. The background image. Move that. Click on the little editing arrow, change the font size way smaller because nobody really needs to read that as much as they just need to know I've honored the source. Apply it. And now I have a, I have honored the source and it's just that easy. Thanks guys.